Okay, this is Mario continuing with this uh, uh, refurbishing of this or rebuilt go kart. This is a Yerf Dog 3020, and this is the front uh, part of the roll cage. I already stripped the uh, the paint. Most of most of the uh, the paint was stripped with this uh, with this heavier duty. Actually, this is skinnier. Skinny co skinnier coils in this one here, and it's got more coils than, than this guy here. This is the one that I've been using. This is uh, part of a set that came uh, with a uh, other uh, wire brushes from Harbor Freight, I believe. So I've been using this to remove most of the paint. It's been going fairly, fairly fast, fairly, uh, pretty, pretty fast, I would say. Then I got these uh, pads here. These look like they're nylon with some kind of an abrasive attached to them. You can see that nylon mesh right there underneath. And uh, this also does a pretty good job, but I uh, noticed that the uh, actually this works better as in contrast to the to this um, abrasive uh, pad here. Uh, this uh, leaves a uh, this leaves more of a um, an imprint. When you're when you're sanding this, then the wire, the water, wire, wire just lifts the, the paint. It doesn't leave uh, too much of, a, of an impression from the scratches. This thing right here leaves. Uh, it almost takes a, a little more metal than with the paint than this thing here. So I've been using this and just using this uh, to um, um, on some of the rougher parts just to uh, get this to soften up a little bit so that I can use it as a finishing. Uh, abrasive pad but it's, it's still pretty thick you can see the wear on this most of the wear is on the outer s uh, section of this pad but this is uh, one that I did and I did use some of that here but like I said I went over with a with a wire and then I've been going over with this 80 grit 80 grit mesh here you know just to clean it up and you can see the type of finish that it's leaving here clean and I'm wearing gloves so that I don't put any um, uh, any moisture on the metal because I'm about to paint this so I'm about to um, just uh, wipe this off with uh, some uh, mineral spirits or paint thinner and then I'm going to spray this just with a can of uh, paint um, Rust-Oleum uh, I, I believe the, the ones that I bought are Krylon Krylon um, it's a nice uh, yellow uh, Rust-Oleum had uh, the two times uh, Rust-Oleum it's, it's the same amount 12 ounces per can I don't think any, any particular one is uh, uh, gives you more paint than the other one, but I like Krylon because it's uh, it's it's uh, uh, of the color. It's a, it's a nicer color, I thought, according to the cap. You shouldn't go according to the cap. I know that, but um, uh, you know if the cap's a little bit darker, a little more vivid, you know, um, it's probably the paint is going to be uh, just as well. So I went with Krylon, and so I'm about to uh, I'm about to paint this. I just want to capture this on video just to show the. Uh, the level of uh, finish that uh, these tools have been doing uh, yeah you know you need to um, you need to take your time in, in kind of especially with this not with this one this is a, another brush that I've been using for going in in between these uh, crevices here uh, as much as I can I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go all the way and try to remove that because it's not it's not worth it not worth, not, not worth the time spending doing doing that I mean it's, it's pretty pretty dull as it is so and then I think I, you, you're not going to see that once this is painted. So most of the most of the surface that counts is on the other side, which is a, it's a nicer finish. This, for some reason, had these um, these uh, looks like somebody welded or cut uh, some uh, something that was here as part of this roll cage. So I don't know if they, this was uh, um, they had some uh, belt uh, hooks here or or what, but it looks like it was uh, looks like somebody uh, cut those off. So the weld marks are, are there so I'm going to touch this up just a little more just to smooth this out so that we don't see this and it, this uh, is, is uh, I mean it's smooth already but I, uh, I think I'm going to have to do, use this the grinder to remove this because I, I can't do it with this this will do it but it it, 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 it removes it a, a little bit the grinder will remove most of this because it still has a, a little bit of a, 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 a thickness here so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to uh, paint this my uh, the rest of the cart uh, is uh, here. So now you can see how the roll cage, the front section, is, is what I just showed. 
you know, I've been chipping a little bit at a time, you know, uh, on the uh, all the way around the uh, the frame. Uh, this is going to require a. Uh, I, I did this with uh, with that abrasive pad that I was talking about that uh, you know, seems to leave uh, more more marks on the on the metal. And you can see here the, the marks here, you know, the scratches. So uh, I may uh, I may continue to do this, uh, and I and I did it here just to remove some of this rust here. As you can see, the shiny parts were rusted like this. So I need to do a little more uh, a little more uh, sanding here to remove this. Uh, this uh, rust, uh, the darker parts, which are which, which is uh, where where the metal was beginning to rust, and so I'm going to clean this with uh, with those pads. This I'm going to have to uh, use my cut of uh, tool to um, not cut of tool, but the grinder to grind this uh, either here or or here to remove this uh, bar completely, so that I can have this uh, free and, um, and and do it properly. You know, it's, it's kind of silly. The way they assemble these things, uh, you know, there, there are no bearings whatsoever here. It's a metal on metal, and um, and and then uh, they stick this in, and then they weld this part. So there's no way to take this out unless you unless you cut that off or grind it off. So I'm gonna grind it off, and then they just do do it properly with a with with a uh, brat, with a collar here, welded collar that I can uh, um, put a put a, put a through bolt right through it, you know, so that I can remove this. If I need to uh, next time, but I'm, I'm basically doing this just so that I can get this out and have the cart uh, without this bar right here because it's a little cumbersome uh, uh, sanding and, and, and uh, removing some of this paint with this bar right here. So that doesn't need to be there. So I'm going to remove that and continue to uh, remove the paint here. Uh, most of this, the, the paint at the top of the surface is is is, is removed. Except for the bottom of the section right there, I have to go through that, and then I'm going to flip the car and do the, the same thing that I've been doing with that brush that I mentioned. This brush right here, which is, is doing a, a really fine job. Uh, surprisingly, I thought this was going to be too too much or too rough, but this is really working uh, really well. And then I'll come back and do it with this. So this is where I'm at. Well, another another uh, uh, short uh, update uh, video and. Uh, next video I guess you'll see this painted or maybe just a full car painted so stay tuned for more thanks for watching